Get the gates, let me settle the bill. How much did you say the money is again? Four five. I tell you four five that they give you DT. I actually don't have more money here. Right? <laughs> is it not just there you carried me from? Huh? Why? <laughs> you look me finish. This is how they laugh. They will do this years at wait. I don't know why the driver driver is angry. I mean, I just paid him and he's talking about four or five. Uh, do you know what? Let me just go to the neighbor's place and get some money, okay? It's not a problem. Hey, if you move, if you come up for here, I go chop, bump the head at me. I don't understand. You ain't mad. Oh, go on. Hey, 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 do you? How much? Five, hey, hey, take your hands off me. I will, I will, I will, I will pay, lie to you. I, will pay, I, will I said, I'll take pay, your hands I'll off pay, me. I will lie to you. Take your hands off me right now. I'll pay. No, 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 babe, this is madness. I'll, I mean, come on. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it, right? All right, take this crab and leave here. Take this crab and leave my house. I will lie to you. Hey, hey, get out. Get out of my house. Take this crab and leave here. Carry my own care, bud. Okay. These Lagos drivers are insane. There's something wrong with all of you in the head. That is why you will keep riding this car till you die. Take this crap out of my house. Nonsense. Mad people everywhere in Lagos. Look at that waka. Mad people in Lagos everywhere. Babe, that driver just pissed me off. No, you just pissed me off. You just pissed me off. How? What do you mean how? Don't you realize how you just embarrassed us out there? How did I embarrass us out there? I told the driver I was going to get some money from the neighbor and he started saying rubbish. And why didn't you just transfer the money into his account? Why do you need to beg your neighbor for a thousand five hundred? Babe, if I had the money in my account, do you think I wouldn't have done that? What, what, what are you saying? Are you saying you do not have such money in your account? Maxwell, you were paid last week. So? Not again, not again, not again. So what did you do with your salary? Is this the argument you want to have right now? I am not arguing with you. I am only asking you a question. What did you do with your salary? Benita, you shouldn't be asking such questions. You are not my mother. You are not my wife. You are just my girlfriend. Okay? Just? Yes. Just your girlfriend. That's me. Babe. Benita, where are you going to now? Benita! Babe! Babe! What? Where, where are you what? going to? What is it? I'm going home. But I thought the plan was... I changed my mind. I am no longer sleeping over. Babe, what's wrong just, now? Just, Come on. Just, just get out. Benita! Benita, you didn't even book a ride? And I thought you were supposed to spend the night in his place. I know, but we had an argument and he said something very stupid to me. Maxwell? Yes. Okay. I mean, could you believe he, he said, I am not his mother, I am not his wife, I am just his girlfriend. Could you believe that? Okay. What are you to him? 
I mean, it's the, it's the tone in which he said it. The tone. I mean, I couldn't stomach it, so I had to leave. So he said it in a condescending tone? Very condescending and annoying tone. I am just his girlfriend. Gosh, that. Which one is really paining you? Condescending tone or you're not his girlfriend? Hello? Hello? Good morning. Good morning, love. How are you? I'm not your love. Really? Anyway, how are you? Fine. Okay, I'm about heading to work now, and I'm guessing you're still in bed? Yes. <sighs> Seems someone is still mad at me about what happened yesterday night. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, babe, I'm sorry, okay? Maybe you misunderstood what I was trying to say, or it just came out wrong, but... I'm sorry. I beg you. How about we go out for a drink later this evening? Maybe when I close from work. If you wish. All right, babe. I'll call you during my lunchtime. Bye, babe. Bye. I'm going to give you back the money next week, okay? I'm expecting something, uh, I think, Wednesday or so. So how much? Just 20k. Just 20k? Can't believe you're seeing it as if it's peanuts. <laughs> Babe, come on, it's just chicken change. It's just 20,000. Mm. Mm. Well, you're begging for it, aren't you? It's a loan and not a gift. Make sure I get my money next week. <laughs> next week. And it's not funny. <laughs> Women. All right, baby. Baby. Hey! <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> my sister, man. Patrick, my guy. What's yeah. up now? I'm good, I'm good. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon, like this, uh, dress up, no combo. <laughs> <Where> the... <laughs> Yo, uh, two bottles, the usual. <laughs> two bottles, come at. Now you de pee. Bring two bottles, come at table. <laughs> Patrick, my guy. <laughs> hey. Patrick. <laughs> So tired, babe. Then go take a shower. Oh, I will. Let me just <gasps> rest a little. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, such a long day. Mm. <sighs> babe. Mm. Can I ask a question? Yeah, what is it? How much do you earn per month? Why do you ask that? I just want to know. Why do you want to know something like that? And why are you agitated? I am not agitated. It's just a question. So tell me, how much do you earn per month? 
And I ask again, why do you want to know? Look, it's only right for me to know how much my boyfriend earns per month. And don't give me that look. You know I'm not demanding. I hardly ask you for money. So don't give me that look as if I want to start billing you or something. My online business takes care of my bills. Baby, you know that. enough of these assumptions. When did I say that you want to start billing me or something? Well, the look on your face says it all. You are wrong. And if you must know, I earn 220,000 a month. 220,000 Naira? Yes. So how come you go broke barely a couple of days after payday? Why do you always go broke? Are you building a mansion somewhere? <laughs> it's not funny. Babe. <laughs> Babe, where are you? stock up the kitchen with food stuff. And I'm not seeing anything new you bought in this house. What is that supposed to mean now, babe? What did you do with your salary? Okay, are you probing me now with something? Because I don't understand this financial investigation going on. Babe, what is it? Well, you can call it whatever you like. I need to know what you did with your salary. Tell me, are you building a mansion somewhere? Or do you not have a family? Maybe a wife or kids that I do not know about? <laughs> Again with this mansion thing. <laughs> yes. No yes, okay. I have a wife and family. I so. am <laughs> look, I am saying something serious and you're laughing. I honestly don't get it. Oh my god, the things you say are so adorable. Hmm? asking you that question. I've been here. Well, now that you asked, here I am. Goodness, <laughs> it's so good to see you. Same here. I heard you traveled after your master's. Yeah, I had to travel to the United States. I was there for like two years and I'm back now. Excuse me, ma'am. Your bill is 18,200, ma'am. Um, okay, that's no, fine. No, no, Let me get no, my no, grip. No, that's fine. I will sort it out, okay? Thank you. Ooh, where can I get a tin of coffee? All right. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. that's fine. I can just pack my stuff. Okay. All right, so ever since I go back from the States, I'm trying to set up my own business. Oh, that's really good. So tell me, how's the business doing? Not bad. It's been awesome, I must say. Yeah, we thank God for little mercies. Richie, you, you've always liked business. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. <laughs> I know. So um, where are you headed? Can I drop you off? Oh, I'm going home. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. right. I'm really happy for you. I mean, look at you now. You're now a big boy. <laughs> and I must say, you're not looking badly yourself, too. 
thank you. I mean, I thank God for his little mercies. All right. So do you live alone? Oh, no. I share an apartment with my friend. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, it's been, what, four years, thereabout? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I have missed you so very much. And why didn't you call me? Well, let's just say I, I lost your number and alongside a lot of contact. You know, when I moved to the United States of America. That's fine. I mean, I no longer use that number. I have a new line that I use. Okay. Can I please have the current one? Sure. All right. shopping on my way back from work. Ooh. Let me see. Girl, I ran into my old friend at the shopping mall. You need to see this guy. Wow. I mean, he's doing so well for himself. So well. Really? Mm-hmm. And guess what? He paid for everything. Everything? Everything I got. <laughs> wow. And my mind was telling me to add more things on. But I was looking at the cost. I didn't want to spend more than 20,000 there. Ah. So, so um, how much is everything here? Just 18,000 there plus. If I had known I would see him at the shopping mall, ah, I would have gotten things worth maybe 50,000 or 100,000 there. Not just 18,000 there. Then it's a uh, big thief. And what's that supposed to mean? Big thief. What's that supposed to mean? Eh -eh. Don't insult me. Don't you don't don't just do that. Mm. You don't like the tattoo. Mm. Egg. Three times I'll keep it down. Everything I go. be alright. No. Come on. Don't worry about a thing. Cause everything is gonna be alright. <laughs> Richie, don't worry. Hey, about a thing, na 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 na, <clears throat> cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Come on, man. Hey. What's the car this time around? Trust me, uh, you do not want to know. Hmm. I, um, hey. Okay, sure. <clears throat> I can smell what's like. It's a story. Not this one. This one is completely beyond you. So, okay? so me, okay? Hmm. After it, bro. Come All right. On. So I. I met this lady. Uh -huh. <laughs> this lady I have been crushing on since way back in school. <laughs> Woo! Don't worry. Hey, hey, Richie, about a thing. Woo! Everything. Hello. Good evening. This is Richie. Yes, I know. I saved your number the last time. Oh, come on. All right, so how are you doing? I'm fine. And you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm just here at home chilling, watching football. Mm, I see. Okay, I am actually on my way to the bar, Ruby's Bar. I want to go chill with a Cold bottle of wine. Cool. Just make sure you don't get drunk, okay? Oh, of course not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, take care.
Why is she not here yet? I don't know. Let's just give her some time, okay? So what if she changes her mind not to come here again? Since she doesn't even know you are here waiting for her. So are you by any means suggesting that I call her on the phone and ask her where she is? But I think that's the best thing to do. Hey, baby. Hmm. Hello. Come here. Oh. She's here. Yeah. Oh, is she? I've been waiting. I am so sorry. You made me drink all this alone. Hmm. Are you good? Mm-hmm. She's here to see a man. Can you see that? She's here to see him. Well, she told me she, she was just coming to chill. I mean, she's here alone. She's supposed to be here alone. I'm sure that guy there is her man. I'm really sure about the brand, but it's very tasty. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Thank you. Yep. Oh. Babe, honestly, this drink. Yes, <laughs> cheers. Drink Thank you. Cheers. Mm. Perhaps just a date? Well, we can't tell. She's having a good time with him. Let's just drink. Relax then. Go home soon. You know, I tried everything possible to date that girl before I left for the States. It just didn't work. I'm 100% sure that she likes me. And I don't know why she's finding it very difficult to say yes to me. Why? I don't know. I mean... Well, maybe that's it why I love you. Of that. course. I'm not giving up. I'm, I'm going to keep trying, okay? Because I love her. Love? Yeah, I love her. <laughs> hey, love. You and love, eh? I beg, just take me out of here, please. What's your problem now? You and the law. I don't, I don't, I don't well, understand Joe, you. You have a problem with it. It's tasty, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so you mean you've been drinking? All along because you kept me waiting. I, I didn't know what else to do. The drink, the drink is starting to get to me or something. Mm. <laughs> you had better not get drunk mm. here. If not, I will leave you and walk away. <laughs> You're laughing. Are you sure you're not happy? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'll how would you leave your boyfriend here and go when he needs you the most? Okay. Mm. Then get drunk and watch what I will do. <laughs> you're not serious. They will just rub me in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Mm -hmm. I haven't had the chance or the opportunity to tell you this, but I guess I should just say it right now. Meeting you was one of the best things that ever happened to me. I am so glad we met and you're the best thing that happened to me. You're just the absolute best.
Hello, good morning. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You sound like you're in motion. Oh yes, I'm about heading out. I'm going to see a client. Oh, I see. Okay, so um, how's your schedule for today? Um, I have a place or two to go to today. And after that, I head back home. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I was thinking if we could, you know, by chance, maybe sit down together for lunch. Okay, I'll call you when I'm done. All right. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Bye. <sighs> You look beautiful as always. Thank you. Can I, can I tell you something? Sure. I've always been in love with you. As a matter of fact, I never forgot about you, not even for once. Benita, I need you in my life. Please, be my woman. Just say something. I don't know what to say. This is the same thing you said four years ago, that you don't know what to say. Just say anything. Richie, I really don't know what to say. Just say yes, that's all. I can't that... say yes. Why? Because I'm seeing someone. And I can't be with two men at the same time. Do you like me? Of course I like you. It's obvious. So this... That guy... How long have you known him? For about a year now. But we started dating about... Six months ago. my baby cooking. Hello. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Not now. Why? You know I'm busy mm. and I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. The aroma of the soup is so arresting I couldn't resist it. Really? Mm -hmm. Well if you came to the kitchen because of the aroma mm. then you can get a chair and save it till you're filled. Mm. <laughs> Go and check. Who's knocking like that by this time of the night now? Go open that door! You! Mama. You! What are you doing in my house by this time of the night? Uh, who, who are these guys? <sighs> wow. Look, I know that I'm owing you some money. I never said I wasn't going to pay. All I need is some time, okay? Your head is not correct. I don't they call you since last week. You they dodge my call. Maxwell or whatever you call yourself. You must leave this house now, whether you like it or not. Landlord, it is not done anywhere in the world, okay? It is not done like that. I'm expecting a huge sum amount of money, and I'm going to pay you by the end of the month. You just have to trust me. 
you said it last two months. You said it again last month, and you have repeated it again today. My Lord, it is for real this time. You have to. I have money, man. I walk in the. What's going on? I'm having misunderstanding with the landlord. Look, I, my girl is over. This is embarrassing. I don't like what's going on. You don't have money. You're bringing a woman in my house. Throw this devil out! Hey, that landlord. is absurd. You, no, no, do not landlord. lay your hands on me. So, what? What is this guy doing? Landlord, look. Do not lay your hands on my girlfriend. Do not touch my girlfriend. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Please, please. I'm cooking. At least let me turn off the gas, sir. Don't worry. I will turn it off for you. Let me, so let, me take, let me take my phone and my bag, my things. Okay, follow her. Let her pick her too. Nonsense. What do you people take me for? I mean, you needed to see the way people came out of their houses. The way they were looking at us. Ha! Ah, it was so embarrassing. It was so, so embarrassing. Ha! Ah, my goodness. But I don't understand. Why would he be owing his landlord for four good months? I don't okay. know. I honestly don't know. I don't know what he does with his salary. And to think that my boyfriend earns a good sum of money. Someone who earns 220,000 Naira every month, yet he goes broke barely two weeks after. Wait, let me understand something here. Is he feeding his entire kindred? Hey. I'm just <laughs> lost. Ah. Totally lost. Ha. For me, I can't date someone who does not have financial discipline. Hey, not me. I can't. Uh -uh. Please, <laughs> did you did you cook anything? Cook. You want to eat by this time? Past ten. Then it's I don't. Did you eat there? Haven't you been hearing what I've been saying? I said they only allowed me to go in and turn off the cooker. I was cooking now before the landlord came. <laughs> this is this is really funny. Oh. So you didn't cook anything? I think we're going to eat there now. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, oh. Babe. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Babe, why are you, have you not been taking my calls? What's the problem? Are you seriously asking me that? What's the matter? What has come over you? For the past two days, you haven't been taking my calls now. Maxwell, I need a break. What did you just say? You heard me. I need a break. What's the problem with you now? Why are you demanding for a break? Like, what is all this? What do you do with your salary? I mean, you earn a good sum of money. Why are you owing virtually everybody? Wait, Why? Please, don't insult me in front of a friend. I know I borrowed 20,000 naira from you, but that doesn't mean I'm owing everybody. Mm. Yes. Aren't you owing your landlord? And so That's what? And if you must know, I've cleared that whole mess with the landlord. He has given me till the end of the month to pay up, and I will do just that. Babe, stop all this. So what do you do with your salary? It is none of your business. Then it's over between us. I'm done. Benita. Victoria, let's go. Benita. I'm done. Go get someone. Benita. Why is she not picking my calls? What is wrong with that girl? Or should I go to her house? Nah. <sighs> At least not now. For ringing. It's Maxwell. I have told him to stop calling me, but he wouldn't. It's Richie calling and not Maxwell. Mm? Mm -hmm. Richie, 
I thought it was Maxwell. Oh, I'll call him back. Have you accepted to date him? Not yet. Mm, but would you? I don't know. You never know anything. <laughs> you, it's always I don't know. I don't know. It's, what? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Talk, Joe. Mm. Mm. office you've got here. I know, right? Mm-hmm. All right, you may have a seat. Oh, thank you. Hmm. So, how's it going? I mean, how's your business doing? It's been great. I mean, really? it's always has been great. Mm. And you're smiling to the bank, right? Well, if you call it that, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Um, so, on the phone, you said you wanted to introduce a business to me. Yeah, there's this uh, mini import business that my cousin is into and she is really cashing out. Yeah, I'd like to, you know, introduce you to it. But before we delve into that, there's something I'd like us to talk about. I mean, this has kept me sleepless for weeks now. Okay, so what's that? You. Me? How? Look. Benita, I want something serious with you. I'm not out for games. I'm that kind of guy who's ready to go to hell just to be with you. Come on, don't say that. You're serious? Very serious about this. Look. I see you in my dreams every night. I see you as part of my today, as part of my tomorrow, even as part of my future. My love for you, Benita, is boundless. So please, I'm begging you, please accept and just say yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, babe. Do you like the wine? <laughs> of course I do. I mean... I know. Mm. Mm. Tastes great. You know, for making me this happy today, I think I should spoil you a bit. <laughs> Richie, you already spoiling me. I mean, look at this place. It's it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I think you deserve it and so much more. Hmm. I love you too. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. Hey girl. Hey you. What are I you am carrying? Back home. I see that. What are you carrying? Oh, my boyfriend took me out for shopping. Ah, uh, Maxwell. Maxwell? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I am no longer with Maxwell. Mm. News flash. Richie is now my boyfriend. Okay, so you've accepted him? Yes, I have. Okay, <laughs> uh, what do you have here? <sighs> I have lots of goodies in there. Wow. Check them out. Wow. You like that, right? Yeah, this is really good.
What? What is it? Benita, where did you sleep last night? And why are you asking? Because I was here till past 11. And you didn't call back. And you didn't come back here. And besides, when I was talking to you on the phone, why did you switch off the phone that way? Too many questions. Look, I am tired. And I want to rest. Okay? What are you doing? What is going on? What do you mean, what am I doing? I want to go inside because I do not want to talk to you. Benita, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I love you. Mm -mm, don't even mention the word love. Don't! I don't want to have anything to do with the gambling addict. I don't want to. Wait, hold up. Who said I'm addicted to gambling? What, what are you talking about? About 85% of your salary goes into gambling. So what do we call that? You owe virtually everyone around you. Even those you're supposed to help, you collect from them to gamble away. So what do we call that? Hey, I know that I love sports bets a lot, okay? But it doesn't mean that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not stupid. You just need to trust me. I am aiming for something. I'm aiming for a big target. You just need to be patient. You just need to trust me. Just last week again, another guy hit 80 million naira from this stuff, babe. Benita. Benita. Come in. Sit, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Wow, I mean, you sure do have a good taste. I mean, this is a beautiful home. Uh, beautiful? Yes, I do agree. But a home? Uh, far from it. But maybe with you in it, I can make it a beautiful home. <laughs> <laughs> you sure do know how to make me laugh. And I'm glad I make you laugh in my little ways. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you live alone? Of course, I do. Mm. That means you cook or you eat out? Talking about cooking, why don't you sit back, relax? Let me cook something really nice for you. You mean you cook? You don't know. Oh my word. Look, Tell me. I am the best cook ever in the history of mankind. <laughs> and pretty soon you will confirm that, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey, so what is the chef cooking? Vegetable soup. Oh, nice. <laughs> I can't wait to have a taste of it. Trust me, by the time you do, mm -hmm. you will never forget this day. <laughs> mm. You're so sure of your culinary skills. Of course, awesome. I've got the best. Okay, <laughs> we shall see then. <laughs> and. I hope my presence is not distracting you because I wouldn't want to distract you.
hope you had a good weekend. Mm, of course. Of course, darling. Oh, What's in here? Richie. Richie is such a fabulous guy. Wow. And he took me shopping. Again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a new phone? Uh-huh. A new phone. I told you. Girl, I told you this guy. He's a darling. He's a sweetheart. I mean, he's everything a woman wants in a man. Oh. He's such a great guy. I'm happy for you, really. I know. Wow. But there's just one thing he's not so good at. What? He doesn't know how to do. I mean, he's not so great at sex. I mean, Maxwell is far better than him in that. But I guess I just have to make do with what he's got. I mean. I'm not complaining. You can't have everything now. What? 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 Leave me alone. I'm well. Man, that baby is something else entirely. She's just awesome. I have never met a lady like her before. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> Why are you asking this little girl like um, she's one in a million? Of course, one in a million. In fact, she is much more than one in a million. <laughs> and for me, she's worth much more. And a trillion. Um, <laughs> so, um, tell me, what exactly did she give you to eat that you have not eaten before? I mean, just make me understand. Yes, she's beautiful. What else? To say that she is beautiful is an understatement. <laughs> she is a paragon of beauty. She's, she's an epitome of so much. Ah, I can't, words cannot really describe it. I beg, that's enough. Bro, come on. What's up? Your blood's too hot. Eh? You know, like, um, go jam here for war. <laughs> I'm just telling you an open secret. Whether you like it or not. Hmm. I'm going to be proposing to get married to her real soon. <laughs> <sighs> this guy, you don't go keep pressing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I've heard you. All right, then. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Who was that? Um, you it's... love this person. I, I love you, too, on the phone. That's exactly what I heard. <sighs> yes. Who was that? Babe. What is wrong with you? Why are you raising your voice? Don't tell me that I'm raising my voice. Answer the damn question. After everything that I have done for you, I took out my time. I went into the kitchen to prepare a special delicacy for you. And while at it, what were you doing? You're here telling another man that you love him in my own house? Are you crazy or something? You will keep talking nonsense if you don't come down and listen. What is wrong with you? Me? I'm talking nonsense. I'm talking nonsense. Huh? <gasps> How dare you tell me that I'm talking nonsense when I'm trying to correct your stupidity? Are you mad? You're here in my house, seated, professing love to another man. In my own house, what temerity! Look, don't you ever in your life try this again. What's wrong? Benny? It hit me. Who hit you, Richie?
Did someone hit you? Did someone hit her? What do you want? What do you want? I came so that we could talk. Okay. Benita, did someone hit you? I brought you here because this is the place you accepted to be my girlfriend. Yes, I remember. One cozy Saturday evening. Yep. Things were much simpler then. Uh, why did he hit you? I don't want to talk about that. Very well. You know, it's been very difficult for me since you left. Really difficult. I uh, tried my best to get you off my mind, but nothing seems to be working. Nita, I need you in my life. Whatever I might have done wrong, whatever, whatever you don't like, whatever I don't just I, I don't know, but I can make amends. I can change. I would do anything to keep you. I don't know what to say. Do you want me to to give you some time? Something. I can't lose you. It was her sister she was talking to, and not a man. Oh, she, she says I love you too? Yeah, that's how they talk. In fact, that's usually how they end their phone conversation. Really? And she said you didn't even give her a chance to explain herself. You probably just thought or assumed that she was cheating. Oh, <laughs> Oh. I had so much fun. I... What are you doing here? Have you gone back to your vomit again? Get out. What? I said get out of my house right now. Get out! Anita. Guy, why don't you just calm down? Don't go tell me to calm down. What do you expect me to tell you then? Guy, calm down and no. think of what to do. She made me hit her so that she can go back to him. Yes. <coughs> Did she tell you that she has gone back to him? No. <sighs> so what makes you think that she has gone back to him? My professor once told me that the things you fear most tend to happen to you.
girl. girl. So, how do I look? You look curvy, gorgeous, mm -hmm. stunning, beautiful. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Wow. So, where are you going? I'm going to see my boyfriend. Aha. Uh -huh. Richie. Richie. <laughs> Richie is now my ex. I'm going to see Maxwell. I'll Benny. see you later. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I came to tell you that. That's what? I am finally back to you. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Come here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> mm. And don't you leave me again. Hmm? We'll see about that. Mm. I missed you. I missed you too. Mm. Mm. Food is good, yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. So, have you renewed your rent? Mm -hmm. That's good. Why do you ask? At least I won't be thrown out of your house when I come visit her. That's below the belt. <clears throat> yes? Hey, hey babe. Uh, how are you? I'm okay. Can we talk? We are talking. Look, I am so sorry for hitting you, okay? I, I regret my actions. I, I wish it never happened. Please forgive me. It's okay. I've heard you. Okay, can we have dinner together? In my place today. No, I'm not coming. <sighs> All right, I promise to make something very special for you. I said I am not coming. No, 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 don't say no. I don't want to hear it, okay? Look, I don't mind taking you to one of the choicest restaurant sports in town if you don't want to come to my place tonight, okay? I'll think about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, take care of yourself. Bye. <sighs> what? Who was that on the phone? Richie. What does he want? He wants me to come over to his house for dinner. Uh, and you told him that you would think about it? Yes. Uh, I don't understand. What is there to think about? Why didn't you just tell him straight up that you're not coming? Benita, what's the matter? How do you mean? Are you okay? You've been moody and kind of distant since you got back. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm okay. Where are you going? <gasps> I'll be inside. Babe, did you see that? Babe. Babe. 
How can you afford to sleep when you're watching a really interesting movie? I'm sorry, I didn't get enough sleep last night. Really? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll go to the room so you're more comfortable, okay? Okay. Yeah, I should do that. What you spend your salary on? This? What are you talking about? Maxwell, you spent quite a fortune on sports bets. Quite a fortune. How much did you see there? Look, you staked fifty thousand naira on this. This is twenty thousand naira, twenty-five thousand naira, and fifteen thousand naira on sports bets. What is wrong with you, babe? What is wrong if I use that amount of money on this? Do you know that a friend of mine staked 80,000 Naira on this bet last week and now he has 70 million Naira? What is wrong 70. with you, Maxwell? What is wrong with you? So this is the reason why you always go broke, right? Now tell me, how much have you won since you started? Hey, I've, I've won a few hundreds here and there. Like, the day I'm going to win big is coming. Like, you just need to trust this, okay? You are unbelievable. Babe. Benita. Babe, babe, where are you going to? Babe! Oh my God, that's crazy. How can he be spending almost all his salary on gambling? I know this, this was the same thing my father did. My father gambled away all his fortune and had us his children struggling to survive with life. The same thing, gambling. I'm so sorry. I mean, I understand. I mean, for him to spend half of his salary on sports bet, Simply means he's addicted. Of to... course he's addicted. Right. Maxwell is already an addict. No wonder he always goes broke barely few days after payday. And I keep wondering, what does he do with his salary? I didn't know he just gambles away all his salary. So unfortunate. Oh God. Honestly, I don't see a future with that guy. I mean, I can't, I can't be with a gambling addict. I can't. Fine. Great. It's good to see you again. I've really missed you. And I missed you too. Come, give me a hug. Excuse me. 
Hello? I'm fine. Yes. I'm somewhere. What do you want? And I said I am somewhere. You know what? I can't talk to you right now. Good night. Are you all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah. You sure? Mm-hmm. Are you sure she's still coming? Yeah, yeah, she is. So why is she not here yet? Ah, guy, why are you such in a hurry now? Guy, I told you that I have a business meeting by 12. You said 12. It's just past 10, all right? I, I, I mean, I need you to be here so you can take pictures and videos as well. And what if she says no? What? Talk of the oh. devil. Oh, she's here. And who's the devil? Were you guys discussing me? Yeah, I mean, we were wondering what was keeping you. Hi, baby. Yeah. I am so sorry. There was much traffic. Hi, Nelson. Hi, Benita. You're welcome. Thank you. My angel. How are you doing? I'm fine. Today is a very special day. Special day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why are you staring at me like that? What's going on? Thank you. You bring so much happiness into my life. In my heart lies only thoughts of just you alone. I mean, I can't promise you heaven on earth, but there's one thing I can promise you. That is something that awesomely, preciously belongs to me. My heart. Babe, you've got my heart captured. And for this, I am begging you to say, you are married. Please. Yes! Oh my god! She said yes! Yes, she said yes! 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 Yeah! We did it! Social media. Uh, oh. oh, God. She accepted this proposal. Jesus, the blogs are even carrying this madness. Benita will not kill me. Let me go. Oh God, Benita. Oh God. Oh. Benita.
it. This game has caught my ticket now. Another 20,000 gone down the drain. See if I can get my money back. Mm -hmm. Baby, mm -hmm. why don't you sleep here tonight? I really need you by my side, my angel. Honey, not tonight. I have things to do at home. But that was not part of the agreement. We agreed that you're going to spend the night here today. Yes, yes, I know. But something came up. What exactly came up? It's just... My ring. I forgot my ring inside. Let me get it, okay? One minute, I'll be back. Yeah. And what are you doing? What are you doing touching my phone? Huh? Are you... Are you hiding something? What do you mean by am I hiding something? Look, don't ever touch my phone ever again. I shouldn't touch your phone again? Yes. My phone is my personal property. So you need to respect my privacy. Don't ever touch my phone ever again. Do you realize who you're speaking to? You're talking to your fiance. I don't know, what use is this relationship if... I can't have access to my fiance's phone. I am serious. Let this nonsense not repeat itself again. You need to respect my privacy. Don't touch my phone ever again. Is your phone more of a personal property than your private parts? I mean, I have access to it anytime and anywhere that I want it. So why can't I have access to your phone? How's you having some mischievous thing under your sleeve. I won't stand here and listen to this nonsense. Who's who talking nonsense? Go. Oh! Oh. Do I look like someone who talks nonsense? I just hope you're not going back to that filth of an ex. Benita, what's wrong? You've been in here since you got back. What's the matter? What is it? He hit me again. He hit you again? But I thought he said he wasn't going to do that again. Oh my God, God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. This is really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Please. It's okay. Don't do it anymore, okay? <laughs> For you. I saw your post on Instagram last night. What post? The one that alluded to someone hitting you. Tell me, did he hit you again? What's going on here? Oh, you've laid your hands on her again and you've come to apologize with flowers. 
Don't you know she's my babe now? You're not needed here. Do not come here again. But you are out of your you mind. You are the one who's a lunatic. What is wrong with you? There's something wrong with you in the head. It you is are out of your mind. With... What is wrong with you? Eh? Benita. Benita. One of these days, you're going to get what's coming for you. I promise you, man. I like the both of them. But they have their baggages. Maxwell is a gambling addict. That makes him financially indisciplined. Richie is emotionally insecure and hot tempered. That's why he hates me. What exactly should I do? Perhaps I should forget about the two of them. Why is she not picking my calls? Okay, I know what to do. Let me send her a voice note. Babe, I'm sorry, okay? Please, forgive me. All right, upon my honor, I vow never to raise my hand and hit you again. Okay, please. You know, forgiveness is the best form of love in every relationship. Please forgive me. So that I can once again whisper into your ears how much I love you. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. So why don't you try calling her with your phone since she's not taking my calls? I can't do that. She would be mad at me if I did that. I probably think she doesn't want to talk to you. That's why she's not taking your call. You should, you should give her some time. I, I think you should, really. Like, how long are we talking about? I don't know. I wouldn't know. Uh, just sit, okay? I'll, I'll get the door. Okay. Hey, Richie. Hey. What? What is he doing here? Um, he's, uh, he's waiting for Benita to get back. I see. Okay, look, um, in case you haven't been told yet, I'm going to put it out there now. Benita and I were getting married, okay? So if you know what is good for you, stay clear, all right? I don't need to see you here again. No, the only reason you're still running your mouth is because I haven't punched you in the face. Okay. Say it again. I'm going to punch can you, you in you, the face right you, now. Can you guys not fight here? Please, not, not here. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be a total beat down. My love. My angel. Hi. How, how are you? Benita? Just tell her I'm waiting, please.
guys. What's up? They're still there. My God. When they're tired, they will leave. I think they're actually waiting for who will leave first. And this whole thing is becoming childish. Like, I need to sleep. Well, you have to wait for them to leave. So you lock the door. Besides, you were the one who let them in. Oh, really? Mm hmm That's what you're saying? Yes. I mean, you shouldn't have let them in. Okay. So go deal with it. Interesting. No problems, that's fine. Ah, uh, please, gentlemen. I need to sleep. And I will need to lock the door. Oh, please. Can you try again? Tell her this time that I've got something very, very urgent to talk to her. I've said that severally. But from the look of things, she doesn't want to see or talk to either of you. So please. All right, just tell her to keep in touch real soon, okay? Real okay. soon, okay? Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you this again. Stay away from my fiance. Okay? I'm not going to warn you again. This is your last Get your warning. Get hands out of my face before I break your phalanges. Who the hell do you think you are, huh? <sighs> you want to know who I am? The next time I see you here again, then you will know who I am. Oh, you want me to sit by, fold my arms and watch you take over my girl? You must be insane. She was. She was your girl. Now she's mine. Oh, mine. All right? Get out into your thick skull and lick your freaking wounds. Yeah, just keep talking trash. Someday I'm going to punch you real hard in the face, you hear me? Here you are. <sighs> I mean, I've always known that my supplication of mercy would ever go ungranted. And that makes you a very, very nice person. And this even brings you a lot closer to me. What is it? There is something I have to say to you. What? Honestly speaking, I like you. But I can't marry you. Why? Look, you're a nice person, you're generous, sweet, fun to be with, but you beat women. Hey, please, I promise you, it will never happen again, okay? It will never happen again, trust me, okay? That was the same promise you made to me when it happened the first time. Now it's happened the second time. I won't let it happen the third time. It no. will not happen, I swear to you. That's the more reason I have to quit this relationship. So it doesn't happen again. Richie, we are not even married. Still, you're beating me. It's already a big red flag. I can tolerate any defect in a man. But you see domestic violence? I can never tolerate it. Never. Babe, please, just let me explain. There is no need for any explanation, Richie. I have already made my decision. Come on, you've hit me twice. And I'm leaving now that I'm alive. What if I don't survive it the third time? There will never be a third time. 
Okay. All right. Please. Abusers of any sort can't stop. I'm sorry. I can't marry you, Richie. I can't. Here. This is your ring. You can have it. I'd rather stand and see what I have to say. Okay, so, so what do I owe this visit? I have returned his ring to him, and I've chosen to be with you. Really? Oh my God, I'm so excited. But I can only be with you if you accept my terms and conditions. And what are they? You have to give up your addiction at sports betting. What? Yes. Listen, I am not saying spot betting is bad, but being addicted to it is worse than cancer. It will ruin and drain you, Maxwell. You have a well-paying job, yet you have nothing to show for it because of your addiction to gambling. Yes, I love you, but I can't be with a gambling addict. I can't. Okay. What do you suggest we do? You have to go for a therapy. Yes, a therapy to treat your addiction to gambling. I know a very good therapist, and he's willing to take you in on the program. And that is first. Secondly, I'll be your financial manager from now until the therapist confirms you're good to go. Right. Financial manager. Mm -hmm. What I mean is, I will have access to your financial details. And you will not withdraw money from that account without my knowledge. And I will keep track of your daily expenses. That is because I do not want you to spend more money on gambling. And I will check your account balance every night. <laughs> so, are we good to go? Huh. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, if that's what will make me keep you, then it's fine. I'm done. Hmm? <laughs> and don't you leave me ever again, okay? Hmm? <laughs> Financial manager. <laughs> Mr. Maxwell, you have done perfectly well. Believe you me, the journey of five months may have come to an end today. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. <sighs> My guy, mm. what's you're up? here already. Oh, yes. All right, I was about to call you, but since you're here, let's go take, you know, maybe lunch or something, okay? Richie, are you aware that Benita is now married? You're joking, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. just wait. Just take a look at this. Calm down now. Why are you hitting the table? This was the same way you hit Benita that you lost her. Stop expressing your anger in a violent manner. I've told you this countless times. Hasn't it cost you a lot? <clears throat> um, Richie, honestly, you're a very nice guy. 
but a snack here is your temper. Maybe you should <coughs> consider doing what I've been telling you to do. Which is? Go for anger management therapy. It's going to help you a lot. Otherwise, you may fall in love with another woman tomorrow, and the next day you hit her, and you're back to square one. A man who is worth his thoughts doesn't hit a woman. My father told me so. It's okay. I'll, I've heard you. I'll heed your advice. It's all right, man. Just calm down, okay? All is well. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Mm. Are you good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, babe, I was actually thinking we should get a car of our own since there's enough money in the account now. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So what kind of car? Oh, um, not too expensive per se. Let's say a car what about two million or thereabouts. Then we could put a Let's say three million into your business since it's doing really good. That's a good idea. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I was thinking of open the deposit accounts for our baby. Which baby? <laughs> our baby. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so you want to open an account for a child yet to be born? Yeah. I wasn't thinking of going to this insurance company downtown so I can, um, <laughs> you're laughing already. As I was saying, I want to go downtown and ask them for, you know, life insurance for the baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? This is my husband. <laughs> so you want to start saving for a child yet to be born? Yes, I really? mean. Really? Why wait? Besides, you're my financial manager. You're the one who taught me how to save and be shrewd in business, so here I am. Anyway, babe, I want to thank you for standing by me and ensuring that I become a better person. You are the best. Mm -hmm. Let me help you with that. Don't stress yourself. And thank you for loving me the way you do. Mm. Against all odds. Thank you. I love you so much, babe. I love you too. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs>